never been a fighting game sort of guy. I'm far too frantic to learn the proper combos, counters, and other general moves required to actually be good. Though not your typical sort, Nidhogg is a pretty accessible fighting game, and a damn good one at that. Nidhogg is not about complicated strings of button inputs or character strengths and weaknesses. It's about the actual fighting. It may be simple on the surface, but there is some depth to the system that allows for even newcomers to pull off some impressive feats. Every single player has the same moveset with your primary means of attack being a rapier sword. You can thrust, raise and lower, and even throw your weapon in times of crisis. Though limited, there is a surprising amount of strategy to be used in any given scenario. You can be slow and methodical, parrying and watching your opponent's every move. Or you can go in as fast as you can in hopes that the other side isn't able to match you move for move. It's actually really fun, even without the bells and whistles found in most other games. The other major difference is the end goal of every match. In Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, you want to whittle down your opponent's health bar as much as you can. Here, all you need to do to win is reach the other side of the map. Death comes fast and often, but the quick response means that there's never a clear path to the end. The maps themselves don't really help either. In each of the four multi-stage levels, environmental hazards can both help and hinder. The wild has tall grass to hide while the mines have moving floors. The sky has disappearing tiles while the castle has pitfalls and high ledges. No one stage is alike, and it allows for a constant variation based on how people utilize each map. Even then, the levels themselves have surprising variation within them. Some sections have no ceiling, meaning both sides can jump and dodge more easily, but then there's also tight corridors, forcing you to actually fight it out sword to sword. The way you fight is always being forced to change, making no two matches feel alike. Nidhogg is a mostly multiplayer game, focusing on couch tournaments and online play, which is also fairly sparse, very unfortunately. The single player options are actually fairly limited, with only one mode of an arcade-like progression as you fight your way up the ranks. While fine on its own, the mode doesn't have any options, like color or map selections. Thankfully though, the AI is smart enough to be a nice replacement for other players. Content-wise, Nidhogg is pretty light, with limited mode and level options. You can see all the game has to offer in less than an hour. But really, the game doesn't need much more. Controls are tight, maps are diverse, and the visuals are enticing. It may only be 8-bit, but some of the backgrounds are gorgeous. The wild and sky maps stand out as they manage to pull off beautiful environments. As the vast amounts of pixelated and colorful blood spill on the battlefield, the backgrounds still mostly remain impressive. Though, as a small nitpick, certain colors are easily lost in the sky stage, as they blend far too much into the stage itself. Nidhogg is simple, but pleasantly so. It's a game that lets for even newcomers to feel unstoppable, and pull off impressive maneuvers. I may have seen everything this game has to offer 50 times over, but I still don't mind. Easily one of the best couch co-op slash adversarial games out there, Nidhogg gets an excellent 8 out of 10.